Take a drive and we leave the city You grab my hand and say you wanna be with me I tell you I'm not going nowhere Seems like a pretty good place to drive The night is young and we're feeling restless My fingers trace your mother's necklace The one she gave you last December It was a beautiful night but painful to remember Let's roll the windows down Won't you cruise with me Let's drive real far I don't know where we'll go But I'm happy if you are this is Katie in today's video this is my little baby girl I still have not named her yet I got her like over the summer I think I might name her Pearl I'm not totally sure yet anyway hi guys so in today's video I officially left the south I'm done I'm out I'm not you guys know I'm from Long Island born and raised I've been traveling and moving around the country for 10 years but I am just I'm like a New York girl like I'm a Long Island girl and I am NOT a southern girl and so as much as South Carolina Florida everything is so beautiful I just like don't really fit in there but it was really really nice to be able to see my dad and see some of my friends and stuff uh, in South Carolina I was also in Florida last week seeing one of my other friends it was nice but it was time to leave so let me tell you where I'm going, okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna tell you where I am right now because this place is incredible. Um, so basically left the South this morning. It is currently 10 o'clock, 9.57. I left my dad's at like 7.30. So I've just been driving for a couple hours and uh, I'm headed, well, I'm headed up North. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly where I'm going, but I'm gonna be going up North in the Northeast I'll give you like the general idea of where I'm going. All right, let me tell you a little story. I'm very hyper, obviously. Um, I'm gonna make breakfast quick while I'm telling you the story and then we're gonna walk around here for a minute because again, I'm at a very cool spot right now. But I don't know where my little steering wheel desk is. Rookie mistake, Katie. That is like my necessity and I don't know where it is. Um, but I, since I just left my dad's a couple hours ago, I um, purposefully got extra cold cuts so that I could make a little sandwich and just eat it after a couple hours of driving. So I have my bread somewhere. Where are you? Hold on, I also have pickles. Um, this is the Boar's Head Rotisserie Seasoned Chicken Breast and I have some lettuce just left over from a couple days ago or yesterday, day before, whatever. Um, and I have my bread in here somewhere. Where are your bread? Oh, I have hummus too, I forgot. I gotta eat that in the next hour or so. Hold on, where are you? Oh, at the bottom of the bag where bread should always be. That's great. Um, so this is my favorite allergy free bread. This is the bee free bread. And I don't even know if they have it up north. So I bought two loaves <laughs> to bring with me. Um, anyway, I'm just gonna make a little sandwich, bread, lettuce, chicken, and some pickles on the side. So anyway, the story is basically I need a napkin. Hold on. So basically I think a couple videos ago or a couple weeks ago in a video I mentioned that I just was not sure if I was go I'm just using a napkin as a plate Ugh, Katie keep going with your story okay mentioned a couple weeks ago that I wasn't sure if I was gonna get back on the road I wasn't sure if I was gonna get my own apartment I have just kind of felt like lost lately honestly you guys know this past year and a half has been really rough circumstantially for me and that has bled into my mental health. My physical health has been bad. I had a couple injuries. I went through a couple really bad breakups and I'm still dealing with my esophagus disorder and stuff. And so the last year, year and a half has just been a struggle for me. And it definitely has um, also hurt my, my mental health. And so I spent a lot of the last year, year and a half kind of just like trying to survive, honestly. This bread is really big. Sometimes I just use one and break it in half, but today I'm gonna use two. But yeah, I just, I've been kind of just trying to survive and pushing through as much as I can. And more lately, like more recently, I feel like I'm kind of at a place right now where I need to figure some things out. You know, I think I've let myself have a pity party for too long. I mean, I know I was sick and, and, and I still am sick, but I think I just kind of let myself have a pity party for a little bit too long when I knew that it was time to push myself, you know, like for me, 
I could tell when it's time, okay, Katie, rest, give yourself a break, versus, no, Katie, you gotta push yourself. I can tell the difference between those. And recently I've been like, Katie, you gotta push yourself now. You gotta figure out what's going on with your life. And one of the main things I, I need to figure out is like my, my goals, right? You guys know how big I am on goals. I'm really big on priorities. I'm big on sacrificing. I'm big on making decisions, being honest about your life. Like I'm really big on all the self-awareness and working on my life and making goals and all that. There's chicken good. Usually I get the um, oven gold turkey, but this rotisserie chicken is very good. I'm just putting all of it on here, I guess. I got like a quarter pound or a third of a pound, third of a pound. It's gonna be a big sandwich. So, I'm so big on gold. I talk about gold all the time. But one of the things that I think that I've been messing up, this is dangerous to eat in the car. Shredded lettuce, do it anyway, but dangerous decision. <laughs> one of the things that I've realized recently, and I'm gonna make a whole video on this topic, but I'm just gonna mention it here. I read this book recently called Getting Over Yourself. And it's basically about how there's a lot of churches nowadays that are more like, pop Christianity and they promote and talk about more pop Christianity. So what can God do for you? And God wants you to be happy and God wants you to be rich, you know? And there's a lot of those messages going around that I don't believe are really what the Bible actually says. So this book, Getting Over Yourself, basically was explaining kind of the difference between pop Christianity, what the Bible says. And I got convicted reading that book because I realized that I think I've been really selfish lately. And again, I'm gonna go into this in a, a different video, but I think I've been kind of selfish lately with my goals. And I'm like, okay, what goals do I wanna do? And if it's not against God, then, that, then I'll go through with it. But in reality, I wanna put God first and be like, no, God, what do you want me to do? Not what do I wanna do and see if God's okay with it. What does God want me to do? And one of the quotes in that book, I think it was a quote or just something that I got out of it was like, is my ambition for myself or is it for God? Is my ambition so that I get something out of it or is my ambition to spread the word of God and to praise God and to honor God? So that's kind of been swirling around in my head the last few days since I read that. And I'm like, I really need to figure out what God wants me to do. I need to switch my focus and my priorities to God. Cause I think lately I've just been focusing on myself a little bit too much. I think I was sick and I'm like, I just, I wanna feel better. I'm sick, I'm sick instead of like, focusing on God through it all. But basically, I think that my thoughts lately and my actions lately and my goals lately have been more selfish and I want to completely switch that to be focusing on God. And one of the things that I know that I need to do, I'm gonna take a bite of this. That's one of the things I need to do is take a bite of this, I'm hungry. And I love these little packs of pickles to keep in the car because you only have to refrigerate them after you open them, but I could probably eat all of these in one sitting. So basically what I am gonna do, I know you're like Katie, get to the point. What I'm gonna do is I am going to go stay with one of my friends in the Northeast for the winter, potentially through early spring, depending. My friend has a really big house to himself. He offered me a room, I'm very, very grateful. And so um, a friend that I've known since I was like 19 or 20, which is cool. But so I am going to basically like be a roommate for a few months and uh, stay in the Northeast. And I am going to completely focus my time while I'm in the Northeast, like finding a church, finding girlfriends, like Christian girlfriends, because I don't have any, honestly, I don't have any. Praying, reading my Bible more and truly focusing on God and being like, like what am I supposed to be doing with the gifts that he gave me with his will? You know, what's, what's his goal for me and how can I honor him the most and surrender to him and praise him. And so I'm going to give myself basically the rest of the winter, potentially to early spring to figure out my next steps after that. I might, while I'm there, still travel. It might be a good idea for me to get on the road for a couple weeks and see, you know, have a fair comparison, you know. But for now, all I know is that I'm driving up to the Northeast and I'm gonna be there for a little while. I think that it'll be good for me because the last year, I've kind of just been bouncing around, but it wasn't like my own spot, you know what I mean? So I think right now, what like my body is craving is just having my own spot, 
and yeah just like being with a good friend and stuff so I think it's I think it's gonna be good and I need to figure out my focus and my goals I'm still gonna be working a ton and stuff but that's what I'm gonna be figuring out this winter and so since I'm gonna be in the Northeast and so many of the cities are so close together I'll probably do like a ton of vlogs I feel like I've not done a lot of vlogs like in like the Northeast Northeast like Boston New Hampshire upstate New York I feel like I haven't really done a ton of vlogs there, even in New York City and I will be able to go to all those places just within a couple hours so that's kind of gonna be my winter I'm like yeah I've just felt really lost lately and I'm I'm kind of like I'm kind of sick of it honestly I'm kind of sick of it and so I really want to figure things out and I think just one of the things I've really really been missing is I've just been focusing too much on myself what do I want to do what do I think is best and I still do believe in like you thinking what's best and doing that but I think that that still needs to be through God you know God telling you what's best and then you doing what's best so I'm gonna go to the Northeast to figure out my life basically but now yes I'm talking about food in my mouth so right now I'm at south of the border which I've only been here once like five years ago or something but basically it's just like this giant tourist attraction right on the border of North and South Carolina and uh, it's really good it's really really good um so I just wanted to stop here eat this and then there might be a gas station somewhere I'm just gonna get some gas use a restroom but I am gonna go into one of the shops so yeah, I'm gonna eat this quick. Not too quick, this is a big sandwich, but I'm also gonna show you my messy car. My packed, packed messy car. When I get to my friend's house, or like when I get to like my new house, I am gonna be unpacking a lot of my car. I'm gonna have a room and stuff, you know? So right now, my car is not packed for me to live in it. I need to really clarify. <laughs> my car is packed for me to move, basically. I even have like plates in the back because I had them when I lived in Charleston and I gave them to my dad and he doesn't need them so I gave them back. So this car setup is not anywhere close to what it would be if I was living in here. I would have about half the amount of stuff and it would um, not be overflowing on me while I'm driving. So, all right. I'm very like, very hyper. All right, so now basically if I don't eat the rest of this lettuce in the next hour, I gotta throw it out, which sucks. I don't like wasting food. I don't like wasting food. That sucks when that happens. Uh, same with this hummus. I do have a cold water that I'm gonna put on top of the hummus. Pretend it's like a cooler. All right, ready? Outside. Oh, my lights are on. It is like that weather where like it's not super raining, but it just feels like there's water everywhere in the air. Like it's misting. Anyway, here's my little baby. Hi, car. Yeah, so this is what south of the border looks like. It's just like this giant tourist track. And like there's a ton of restaurants. There's a reptile lagoon over there. There's this guy. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in here because there's hats and toys. And I'm like, yeah, I wanna, I wanna go in there. Pedro's Mexico shop. Um, fireworks. Restaurants, I think there's hotels and stuff. There's a bar over there. Look at this guy. Hi. Hi, baby. How you doing? Ooh, it is cold. I wish I wore pants. Dang. Also, my glasses are, <laughs> I need like little windshield wipers on my glasses. All right, I'm just gonna go into this Pedro's Mexico shop and see if I can get like a cool little souvenir. Did I have food in my teeth this whole time? I apologize. Nashville stares at us through the rear view. Tell me you finally feel like the real you been changing for quite some time and everything feels so different we trash the map because we're not in a hurry got no plans got no worries painted clouds in the desert sky driving towards the next sunrise all right guys <laughs> i got way too overwhelmed in that store i did not buy anything I did not buy anything, <laughs> but um, there's a lot of stuff in there. Very just touristy, souvenir -y, like kitschy. It's very cute though. Like I think this is a cute place to stop if you're driving on, it's just right off 95, like literally right off the exit. Exit one off 95. Um, yeah. Hi, Bubba. All right, I'm gonna get back on the road. 
Well, I'm gonna find a place to get gas and use the restroom and then get back on the road. And then um, I guess I'll talk to you guys like when I stop or show you some more scenery or something. Okay, bye. Oh, I forgot to show you my car. Mm. The thing is, is I'm gonna show you from the front seat because I can't really open up all the doors right now or things might fall. Um, so hold on, I need to, hold on, my glasses. Um, okay. Don't judge me, I'm moving. Okay, so I'm moving. So this is just, this is my car right now. All right, so this is my front seat. <laughs> All my stuffed animals are in the front seat right now. And then like my backpack with my computer, my cameras and stuff are up here. Um, this is my day bag under here. And this is the purse that I'm using. So all like the, you know, important -y kind of stuff that I always have in the front anyway. So if I was living in my car right now and traveling, I would still have like this backpack up here, my day bag, my purse, my stuffed animals. The back, I don't even know how I can show you any of this <laughs> because all completely packed. Okay, so this is my laundry bag. I don't know why it's just right here, but that, but it is. Um, here's some paint, <laughs> some finger paint to be exact. These are sunglasses. And then I have a bunch of these bins that are very handy. I have two different sizes. This one's smaller, this one's larger. And basically the back has like, I think there's two of these on this side, two of these, and then one more of the big ones over here. So most of the back actually is decently organized. It's just so packed. But in these are kind of like my arts and crafts, my books, my extra purses, the things that I would use to sleep if I'm sleeping in my car, all that kind of stuff is kind of organized in these bins. And then just a few things like thrown around that don't fit in those bins, obviously, like my sunglasses, my finger paint. This thing that I was thinking of putting, this is just like, what is it called? Reflective insulation, there we go. <laughs> um, I was thinking of cutting this and kind of like adhering it to the top of these to potentially kind of help like when it's really sunny, kind of block the sun, stuff like that. I haven't done it yet, but I was thinking. Um, this is some arts and crafts stuff. This is dishes and forks and knives and stuff. And then my clothes are in the back. So it's like, oh, and then this is my makeup. This is something. Oh, I think more clothes because my clothes are kind of scattered. But anyway, so like half of it is very organized and then there's just stuff thrown on top. But again, this is not how I would do it if I was actually living in my car right now. But this is what's happening right now. All right, so I'm going to get gas, use the restroom. And then where I'm staying tonight, I think I'm gonna get a hotel. I rarely get hotels, but I love hotels. And uh, I just don't like love spending the money on hotels when I know that I can sleep in my car really easily. But I think tonight I'm gonna get a hotel and where I'm thinking of getting a hotel, I think is like, actually, let me look. I actually need to book the hotel probably soon. But I think it's like maybe seven hours away from here or something like that. Six and a half without stopping. So basically I think I'm only gonna have to stop one more time probably to get gas and use the restroom. So I'm thinking it'll take me about seven, seven and a half hours, depending on the weather, cause it is rainy-ish but and traffic and stuff but about seven more hours of driving and right now it is 10 40 so i did stop for a little while but i wanted to eat and talk to you guys and and show you a little bit of south of the border but yeah i will just show you a little bit more driving footage of the day and then maybe pick up the camera again when i stop again in a few hours but uh yeah okay cool all right i'll see you guys later also if you've been to south of the border let me know in the comments i really want to know because this place is like there's just some of these little like off the road attractions that I haven't been to a ton of them, honestly, but I have been here before. I've been to like the wall out in, oh, where is that? South Dakota, don't quote me. Um, but I've been to a couple of them and it's like, I like that these things exist. <laughs> I really like that these things exist. I think they're very fun. All right, cool, talk to you guys later. Hey guys, all right, so I found a gas station like at south of the border and then I went inside to use the restroom and there were some souvenirs in there and so I bought myself a little souvenir, is only a quarter. A little south of the border pin. You guys know I collect pins, put them on my ceiling. How cute. What an interesting little place that they have here. All right, let's see if I can open this with one hand. I think for now I'm just gonna put it like right here because there's a spot. It looks like something fell. Oh, something definitely fell. What was here? <laughs> something was there. Probably one of my patches. Oh no. I hope it's still in the car. Anyway, for now. There we go. You guys, what patch was here? I really hope that when I get to my friends and I like unpack my car that I find that. Anyway, for now. Look how cute. Also, I do have a whole video talking about my ceiling, if you wanna watch it. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Talk to you guys soon.
Hey guys, it is a couple days later. Okay, so <laughs> I clearly did not record an outro to that video. So I think the last thing that I really talked about was about how I was gonna drive maybe halfway up to the Northeast because it was a pretty long drive and that I was gonna get a hotel and then I was going to keep driving the next day. In actuality, <laughs> I ended up actually just driving the whole drive on, I guess it was Saturday. And so I left that morning from my dad's house at like 7 30 or something and i ended up getting to my friend's house up in the northeast at like i don't know 10 30 or 11 or something so it was a pretty long day that's like the longest that i've driven in one shot in years usually i only drive like eight nine hours at a time but this was like 15 ish and so Drove the whole thing, got here. I'm here right now, sitting on the floor, obviously, but uh, got here, I guess it was like two days ago at this point. And so I'm just kind of like settling in. I really want to like, obviously this is temporary. I'm gonna be here for a few months, but I kind of want to have like a little mental experiment of truly treating this like it's my home and see how that makes me feel and see what that does for me just in general. And so I'm gonna say I'm home when I'm here. Um, so yeah, I'm home right now and I'm just kind of getting everything situated and stuff. And so I'm definitely gonna have a couple videos going forward that I literally already recorded over the last couple days. Uh, I've been pretty busy of, you know, me purchasing things and adventures that I've already been on. I've been here two days, I've already been on adventures. And so, yeah, I know that I've done some videos like on Long Island and I'm trying to even think where else in the Northeast that I've really done videos. Uh, I think like one in Maine maybe, but really besides that, I haven't done a ton of videos in the Northeast. And so while I'm here, a lot of cities are really close together. A lot of towns are close together. And so I'm gonna explore a lot and I'm going to be recording it all for you. And so I really hope that you're subscribed for future videos over the next few months of like fall and winter in the Northeast. It's gonna be beautiful. I know it. So yeah, really hope that you're subscribed. I hope that you enjoyed this little driving video of me from Charleston straight up north to the northeast. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're excited for future videos while I'm up here. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.